we are very happy with the new greenhouse. It is about the same size as our old greenhouse, but more user-friendly and with wider aisles to accommodate ADA regulations, but also our customers, carts, much easier to get around, and more importantly for our students, we can divide them into many groups without, throughout the greenhouse and have several different things going on at the same time. Um, the greenhouse is a Ludi greenhouse and it's all automated. The control systems, each zone, there are three zones, and each zone has its own um, ability to be controlled with heat and cooling, light levels. Um, we also have uh, drip irrigation systems throughout the greenhouse that we put in and uh, drip irrigation systems outside as well, which are, uh, you know, better use of water, better use of labor as well. They're definitely labor saving. We have in our first zone is more of our kind of workhorse part of the greenhouse. So we have a lot of student lab projects, student lab areas. Uh, we do all of our propagating there, um, deliveries, storage, all those kind of things. And then in the second house where uh, we're in right now, this is our, um, currently we're growing poinsettias that will be available after Thanksgiving. And then in the next, the final house is usually our um, things that we can tell customers, everything in that house is for sale. So it's very simple. Uh, they don't have to wonder if they're in the right area. Right now, most of that is foliage, but we'll also do annuals and perennials in the spring and a lot of different plant material. And then in addition, in this house, we have HID lights. And in the spring, what that will enable us to do is um, move plants along faster so that in January when we start teaching perennials and nothing's growing, we can bring in the perennials that we've overwintered, put them under the lights, fool them into thinking that it's 12 and 14 hour days and bring them along so the students have something to actually study and we can watch, they can watch their growth habit until something starts growing in March, April, May. Okay. Um, the main reason I got into it is I'd like to own my own greenhouse when I get out of college, trying to build it myself and fund it myself. Um, what I'd like to grow in there is I was thinking about getting into beer brewing. So I want to learn how to grow like the hops and the barley. Maybe produce my own yeast, but that takes a lot of microbiology that I don't understand yet. So a few more years of learning, I can get to it. I'm a long time student of horticulture. I started about 14, maybe 15 years ago, and I started just taking the classes that were non-credit, and then I went to the credit classes, and I would take one at a time, and I was working, so I'd take uh, one at a time classes. I finally ran out of classes, and but I didn't have my certificate, so I decided I need to have my certificate, cause I, or my degree, because I've been here so long. But yeah, I love volunteering, and there's not, nothing better than in winter to come and work in the greenhouse, getting ready for the sale in May. And uh, it's just a wonderful, fun thing to do when the snow's out and it's cold and just come in this nice one.